Hi everyone, this is Gokul Karta and today we are going to talk about the command design pattern. Uh, command design pattern is one of the important design pattern uh, in software development. Uh, I'll be explaining more about this pattern through a program in C++. But before we go there, uh, I would like to explain a bit about the pros and cons of this pattern along with a simple uh, class diagram of the uh, example application we are going to try today. Uh, so in command descent pattern, uh, the main pros are uh, it can encapsulate the requests or the operations as objects. And you are able to maintain a queue of such requests so that you can revert back to any previous request through an undo operation. But the main con of this uh, command the same pattern is that we may need to write a lot of classes and we will have a class explosion. Let's let's go to a example scenario. So and of course uh, we can discuss much more about the pattern through a real time example. Uh, I'm sorry I got a window pop up. So uh, uh, I was looking at the internet for some real time applications but I ended up in all the uh, TV or remote control uh, examples in most of the uh, pages. So I thought of uh, trying out something which we have used most of the time. So uh, for example, uh, if you are a Word user, of course, you, uh, you may you might have used uh, the Microsoft Word or any other Word editor application. Uh, you are aware of the undo operations. So uh, in undo operations, we can really use this command design patterns very well. So today I'm going to try the design pattern through an image editor example. So uh, this is my uh, use case. I have an image editor and uh, say uh, I have uh, four operations on that image editor or, or the uh, image loaded in that editor. So um, say uh, there are four operations such as black and white, sepia, crop and resize, you know black and white. Sepia is a particular color tone we are applying it in an image as a filter. Crop is like cropping the image and resize is resizing the image. Uh, so in this case, uh, I have an image editor class and I have a dummy function called start which will apply certain effects and after applying few effects we will try to undo those uh, undo those operations so that we will go back to the previous state of the image so for that i have a command manager who has a stack container which holds all the command which when does a request and we have some uh, friendly operations in that command manager like do apply sepia do apply black and white do uh, resize, do crop and undo of course. And the command parent class, it has an undo operation which, to, uh, which is to revert the operation to the previous state. And we have a pure virtual function called explement, execute to implement the actual functionality of that particular filter or plugin, whatever it may be here. Yeah. Now, let me open the source code. Hold for a moment. Yeah, you can see there are a lot of classes, but I'll try to explain as simple. So you can see here, I have a command class. This command class, as we are developing a photo editor, of course, it's related to images. So we have an image class as well. Image has some image data right now. I'm using a string so that I can show you the some text in the command line. That's why. And it has two properties like uh, width and height. By default, we are setting minus one, minus one and image data as empty. And the command will hold a image as well as a previous image. This is for undo operation. And we have some friendly functions like get image, set image, and a pure virtual function called execute. 
so I am talking about this class now let's go to one of the filter or the plugin what we mentioned say crop let's go to crop so crop needs to implement the execute here you can see we have overridden the command and execute method I have just changed the image data to cropped image and divided the height and width by 2 just to do some operation similarly each uh, plugin or filter will have their own execute operations doesn't matter much uh, and we have a command manager so in a system we will have a lot of functionalities in a system like Photoshop so there will be a centric super class goat class named command manager which handles all the commands uh, the function here the process command is a utility function but apart from that there are four operations like do crop do resize do apply sepia do apply black and white and undo and most importantly here we have a stack of commands I will explain you the operations a bit later so let's go to the image editor so image editor is a plain uh, class uh, which will have the current image to start of the operation and which will uh, uh, hold a reference to command manager as well in the image editor from here our entry point this is our entry point so in the in int main uh, I'm just creating an object of image editor I'm just calling the start just to do some operations uh, here in the image editor constructor I'm just setting some default image and I'm calling a function set image which does just printing the image data width and height and setting the current image as the image which we have given <coughs> so to start off with we'll try to of course as I mentioned we have a MC man MC man is a command manager command manager holds all the command in the system so in the image editor uh, I'm calling M command to apply black and white and I'm passing the current image means I need to apply a black and white image uh, black and white effect to the current image and set that uh, newly created image uh, into my own say image editor or image widget that's not valid here anyway uh, so you can see here to apply black and white let's go to do apply black and white what we're doing here in the do apply black and white I'm just creating a command and I'm saying now the command is a black and white command of course there is a polymorphism here and I'm calling a utility function called process command with process command does process command sets the image and it calls its own execute here it will go to the black and white execute method here then it will push that command into a stack once that's done we will return the uh, filtered image or the modified image to the image editor so that it can set the newly created image so here you can see it will return an image which will be set lately here and similarly I'm applying say I'm applying a black and white then I'm applying a sepia then doing a crop and then I'm trying to resize I'll co comment out these slides now and we'll try to compile and see what happens here can see here my f so one second let me resize my terminal window so here my image data was original image width was 100 height was 100 and I applied a black and white filter here you can see line number 24 then I applied a sepia effect then I 
I cropped the image then the size became 50 50 then resized image resized image is just multiplying the uh, current size that is it. So, through commands we are able to control the uh, say functionalities. Then what happens? Suppose after say three operations uh, after you are cropping you decide that hey I do not want the black and white. Then what we can do? Of course, we need to undo. Yep. So, let us enable one undo now and we will see I am sorry we will see what happens here then I will explain you the implementation I am sorry oops my mouse has a problem here yeah, yeah. Going to compile I have compiled So you can see original image, black and white image, CAPI image, cropped image, resized image, then I decided to undo. So what happens? The resized operation gets undo. Then we go to that previous state. Similarly, if you enable all these undos, you can go to the original image. I will show you here. Then let us see how it is done. can see here we have applied all these filters then undoing each and every operation and we got the original image yes so how we have done the undo so in case of undo we already mentioned that we have a stack so from the stack we will check first if we have a empty if the stack is empty that means if you haven't done any undo operation then there is no uh, I'm sorry if you haven't apply any filters or uh, plugins you don't need to undo anything that means your stack is empty then you, you will return to false if not you will take the latest command which has been executed call a undo in the undo in my case what I'm doing I'm just setting my active image as the previous image because when I am calling set image I was setting my previous image before the actual operation. So, I am just resetting that image here then I am calling the undo I am getting the image and it is a pass by reference I am setting that image as the uh, newer one then I am removing that item from the stack that is that is it. So, this is one of the uh, practical use case of uh, command design pattern. 